Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? It's your boy, the American Canadian Gamer, and I have got a special treat for y'all today. Today, we are looking at a match on Hijacked, where I use the ham R to pwn these fools with a 35 and 4 KDR. These noobs, they didn't see nothing coming, and I was on top of my game and balling this entire match. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, American Canadian, why on earth are you using the Target Finder? Well, I will tell you, plain and simple, I think it's pretty. I think it looks cool. I love the way that it comes up and blocks out your peripheral vision. I love the little blue crosshair that it puts in the middle of your screen. I don't need to highlight people with red squares to kill them. This ain't modern square fighter for me. You know that I'm better than that. I got these skills to pay the bills. And I have proven it and I will continue to prove that I am one of the best players on YouTube. Just look at this fool coming up through that smoke. I didn't need that square to highlight him. I was able to gun him down with absolutely no problem. And even with this fool right here getting a lucky tomahawk, I respawn, retaliate with my UAV, with my hunter killer drone, and then I call in my hellstorm missile for a one-two punch that puts these people in their place and shows them that they cannot keep me down. But that is not why I have gathered all of you here today. No, it is not esteemed ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube jury, no. I brought you here to tell you that there are going to be some big changes happening on this here channel. You see... I am getting close to 1,000, I said 1,000 subscribers. I'm about to hit the big leagues, so it is time to get serious and start covering a real game. I, of course, am talking about the one, the only, Call of Duty, the greatest multiplayer first-person shooter to ever grace the digital world. No more of these kitty games, dogs and dogettes, things are getting serious now. No more Halo with its outdated mechanics and wannabe loadouts. No more Team Fortress 2 with its childlike cartoony graphics and bad sense of humor. It's like baby's first FPS. These ain't fitting games for someone of my caliber, someone of my skill, my finesse, and my overall utter sexiness. From this point forward, you are going to get daily, I said daily live commentaries every single day. There will be a live match on this channel where I will completely destroy noobs by the truckload. I will be bringing you the best tips and tricks on YouTube. Just by subscribing to my channel, I will grant you an immediate 1,000 increase in your skill level and cause your penis to grow a whole 3 inches, even if you don't have one. And I will have weapon guides twice a week, where I will break down the weapons in depth and give you the perfect loadout to make you the deadliest gamer that you can be. So you hear that Xbox Ahoy? Eat your heart out. What ultimately led me to this decision was one simple thing, and that is that I am going to get nowhere without Call of Duty. It is the most popular thing since sliced bread, and let's face it everybody, Halo is a noobs game. It takes so long to kill somebody, and you can't even aim down your sights. What kind of modern shooter doesn't let you aim down your sights? These ain't the Dark Ages 343. You keep making your kitty games. I'll be over here playing a real man's game with real guns and realistic combat. And speaking of the realistic combat, let's take a quick look at the match at hand. If you're wondering what loadout I'm running, I have got the Ham R with a grip, a stock, a target finder with flak jacket, toughness, tactical mask, concussion grenades, and Semtex grenades. What other game lets you build such in-depth tactical kits like these? None. That's what, and that's why Call of Duty is the world's number one first-person shooter. Hijacked is a very small map, and you can't be overly aggressive. It may seem like SMGs and shotguns dominate the field, but in actuality, LMGs are the way to go. Simply find a point and lock it down. LMGs are perfect for that, they're made for that, they were born to do that. Now, I'm not telling y'all to camp. No, you don't want to be that kind of a noob, but you do need to hold down choke points, and this map is so small that there are multiple places that you can use to hold a large amount of ground. Once you secure your location, you can easily predict enemy spawns, and it's game over. There ain't nothing that they can do to stop you. Call of Duty, at its core, is a strategy game. It's kind of like chess, only with guns. You gotta position your pieces appropriately and force your opponent to play by your rules. Now, if you liked this video, which I know that you did, don't lie to me, then be sure to like it, favorite it, cherish it, and share it. I will see y'all tomorrow with more Call of Duty, and I hope that you have a very happy, very satisfying, very healthy April Fool's Day. Peace!